High school graduation, usually a time of celebration and hope for the future. The reality, though, much different for one Indio High School student. News Channel 3's Miyoshi Price introduces us tonight to a teenager and his family as they face a heartbreaking reality while inspiring others in the process. Imagine your whole life ahead of you, and in a split second, a life-threatening call changes every plan you've ever created for your future. It did put a sting on me at first, but, you know, I have my faith in God. Miguel Ramos is devastated that this is happening to his young son, Aeneas. We were already planning to, uh, I mean, he is enrolled in college, and that's what we're looking for. We're trying to get him into, uh, you know, a uh, higher um, degree of sports and higher education. And then we get sidetracked with uh, the uh, diagnosis that he had. Uh, stage four colon cancer. Friends call Aeneas by his nickname, Chino. He played sports throughout high school, but just days after graduation, a cancer diagnosis redirected the 17 year old's life. I'm going through chemotherapy um, through this part of my, of, uh, my body. It, it's a pick line. It goes, uh, it, it's uh, attached to an artery and it basically goes through my body to help uh, kill the, the cancer cells. Despite his situation, he has a message for others about living. I just want to bring hope and motivation to those who go through my condition or different conditions, life-threatening conditions. Tell them, you know, you're, you're loved, you're not alone. He wants to give back, so he made these t-shirts with the message and his community supports him. We love the Valley. My son's a Valley boy, so uh, we look forward to uh, more more uh, victories. His family is cheering for a victory. Off the field, that might just be his biggest win yet. This, this is a very ugly, ugly thing to go through, but um, I just want to bring motivation to others and it's inspire them to keep fighting and stay strong. In Indio, Miyoshi Price, News Channel 3. He has about a year of medical treatment ahead of him. If you would like to follow his journey and help his family, head to KESQ.com.